Now come to the question number six. A three-phase square gauge induction motor is designed to operate with stator in a star. A star connection require WKG of copper for its stator winding. If this motor is rewound with the stator in delta with current and plug density kilowatt and voltage rating remaining same, okay, the way, then the weight of stator copper would be the option are A, B, C, D. Which are now come to the solution. Weight is corresponding to the area of conductor material, and the area is proportional to current rating. If the current rating is not changed, then the area is also not changed. If the area is not changed, then the weight is also not not changed. So option C is correct. Now come to the question number seven. If the rotor of the three-phase induction motor is assumed purely resistive then then electromagnetic torque in the motor is option a minimum with load angle minimum with load angle 90 minimum with load angle 90 optimum with load angle 90 optimum with load angle 0 now come to the solution if the rotor circuit is assumed purely resistive okay then the current in any bar in is in the phase with the emf generated in that bar as shown in figure 1 the existence of current in the rotor current gives rise to rotor mmf f2 which lags behind the air gap flux phi m by the space angle of 90 okay this is the stator field okay and this is the rotor field now space angle in between the 90 okay now the space angle in between the f2 and phi m that is air gap flux is also called load angle so uh, for this case uh, load angle is 90 degree and if the 90 degree and the interaction in between the in between the <clears throat> stator field and rotor field is take place so it is the optimum with load angle 90 which is put on the, this equation uh, this is the equation of electromagnetic torque so option c is correct now come to the question number eight if the rotor of the three phase induction motor is assumed purely inductive then the electromagnetic torque developed in the motor is a optimum with load angle zero optimum with load uh, with load angle 90 optimum with the load angle zero zero with uh, load angle 180 now come to the solution this is the electromagnetic torque equation where phi is the uh, flux equation uh, where phi is, phi is the maximum torque and theta is the load angle load angle between the air gap flux and rotor mmf now if uh, we applying this flux this flux to this is the flux to the air gap of induction motor then ef that is generated ef that is generated in the rotor rotor which is lag by 90 degree by solving this equation and differentiating this equation we get uh, that uh, e2 that ef that is e2 means uh, rot emf generated in rotor winding rotor bar okay which is less than less 90 leg 90 there this is the air gap flux and this is the rotor emf which is leg by 90 degree this 90 degree now if the rotor circuit is assumed purely inductive Okay, then the current in any bar is leg by leg behind by 90 degree. Okay, with the EMF generated in that bar, this is the EMF generated in that bar, in this bar. Due to this current in generated in this bar, and due to due to the inductive inductive load, inductive load current is leg by 90 degree. This is the current. So EMF is corresponding to this current. So this EMF is laid by 90 degree from the EMF generated in that bar. So the angle in, in between the flux air gap flux and F2 is 180 degree. So after putting the value of uh, load angle in this equation, in this torque equation, then we get the electromagnetic torque zero with load angle 180 degree. So the D option is correct. Now come to the question number nine. A three-phase four-pole 50 hertz induction motor run at a speed of 1440 RPM. Now these are the statement. Now come to the solution. When when 
थ्री फेज एंड फिफ्टी हर्ट सप्लाई गिवन टू द रोटर गिवन टू द स्टेटर देन स्टेटर फीड इज रोटेड एट अ स्पीड ऑफ फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड आर पी एम विच ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम वन ट्वेंटी एफ अपॉन पी ओके नाउ पुट द वैल्यू पुट द एन आर एस एन आर एंड एन एस इन दिस इक्वेशन देन वी गेट द स्लिप वन जीरो फोर सो स्टेटमेंट फर्स्ट इज करेक्ट now come to the second statement its rotor field rotated at a 60 rpm with respect to rotor with respect to rotor means uh, rotor is rotated at a 1400 rpm and on it rotor field is rotated at 60 rpm so option 2 is statement 2 is correct now come to the statement 3 its rotor field rotated at a 60 rpm with respect to stator field now we are sit on the uh, sit on the stator field which is rotated at, rotated at 1500 rpm now on on after sit, uh, sitting on the stator field we see that rotor field rotor field is rotated at a 1500 rpm and this 1500 1500 rpm is summation of 1440 and 60 rpm okay so with respect to stator it is run at a 0 rpm so this is the wrong so third statement is wrong now come to the statement 4 its rotor run at a speed of 60 rpm with respect to stator field with respect to stator field which is running at a 1500 rpm and rotor run at a 60 rpm rotor run at a 14 40 rpm and this is rotated at a 1500 rpm now after we sit on the stator field we seen that it uh, rotor is running in this direction from 60 rpm speed okay so option 4 is also correct now come to the statement 5 uh, is rotor field rotated at a speed of 1500 rpm with respect to stator with respect to stator now we are sit on the stator which is stationary and we see the rotor field this rotor field is rotated uh, with the summation of rotor speed and rotor field on it so it is run running at a 1500 rpm this is the combination of 1440 and 60 so a statement 4 is also correct so the third only third is wrong so the option a is right right now come to the question number 10 the stator of the three phase four pole shifting induction motor is fed from the 50 hz source and its rotor from 30 hz source the motor will run at a 1500 900 600 24 00 rpm and 2 100 rpm now the correct which is the correct option now come to the solution if the direction of rotation both stator and rotor field are different are same first we take same then the then we apply the apply the field to the then we apply this this supply to the stator then stator field is rotated at 1500 rpm now this 30 hertz supply is uh, given to the rotor then it is run at a 900 rpm for the synchronization between the stator and rotor rotor must be rotated at a 600 rpm after rotating at 600 rpm the synchronization between the stator and rotor field take place okay so third statement is correct now come to the if the direction of rotation both stator and rotor field are opposite opposite it means it is uh, as uh, this rotor field is rotated in this direction and stator field rotate in this direction now for the synchronization between the stator and rotor rotor must be rotated at a summation of 1500 plus 900 rpm that is 2400 rpm so option statement 4 is also correct if you have any queries then meet me in comment box uh, and thanks a lot for listening and if you like this video then like it share it and comment on it okay for more videos don't forget to subscribe my channel that is reference tech education okay <clears throat> for more video next video is coming soon for uh, synchronous machine so don't forget to subscribe my channel that is reference tech education okay and thanks a lot for listening jai hind jai bharat